Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I sat down and I did my makeup and I did my version of a spring makeup look. So if you guys want to stick around and see how I got this look, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start out with my face and I prime it with my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. This is supposed to give like a soft focus look. I also use it as a primer. For foundation, I'm going to go in with my NARS. This is the Long Wear Radiant Foundation. I have it in the shade Macau. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the products. Everything is going to be listed in the description box. And I'm going in with my favorite beauty sponge, my L sponge. And I haven't used this foundation in a while because I've been using that um, the Natasha Denona Foundation X Plus for the last few days. I'm obsessed with that. But this is a pretty, pretty foundation. And if you own this foundation, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's so good. I'm going to go in with my Fenty Concealer. This is in the shade 380. Now, um, I, I don't know what I was looking at, but I saw um, Beyonce makeup um, artist. He was talking about concealer and how he thinks people are using too much concealer. And he was just saying to dot it on instead of doing the big triangle and use your finger to blend it out. I'm, I'm actually going to try that today and see how it comes out. probably gonna take a lot longer but okay so I'm gonna go in with my finger and he said your finger like warms it up and it looks more natural and it's supposed to last longer so what do you guys think Looks very nice. Now, shot a Tilbury contour wand, and this is so much easier than using like a, like um, a cream. So I've been reaching for this a lot, and it's so like light. And now I'm going to go in with my Natasha Denona, the Bloom Blush in Glow Palette. I think this is like the perfect, perfect spring palette. It has like pinky shades and beautiful um, golden peach shades. And I'm going to use my Big Mac Stippling Brush. I'm going to go in with this shade first, the cream. And I'm just going to give my cheek that nice glow. And then I'm gonna go in with the bright pink shade, but before I do that, I wanna put a little bit of my MAC Hyper Real, and this is in Gold Fix. I'm gonna put a little bit on my cheekbone. I'm just gonna go all over the cheekbone and a little bit down on my cheek with this. I just want my cheek to be like really glowy and healthy looking. And now I'm gonna go in with the beautiful pink shade over here and I'm using the same stippling brush. And I'm gonna be liberal with this because it fades after a while. It doesn't keep the same intense color. At least I've found that it'll fade a little bit over time. So it can be a little bit more um, liberal with it all right so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna set my under eye and i'm using my fenty powder i've been obsessed with um the fenty powders i haven't really reached for my other powders that much and this is in the shade honey and i'm just gonna go directly under the eye and i'm gonna avoid where i put down all that um cream now i'm gonna start on my eyes and i'm using my mac 247 Extend Eye Base. This is my favorite primer. It's almost finished. I need to grab another one. Okay, so I want something like nice and pink, which I mean, I don't wear a lot of light color, but I want to put color today since I'm doing like a spring tutorial. I'm, I'm going to reach for my Marc Jacobs. This is his iconic palette, and this is in 
Scandal Lust. And I'm going to go in with this beautiful pink shade right here. And I'm just going to pat it over the entire lid. And it's such a pretty shade. And these are very creamy. See how pretty that is? I think it's such a beautiful shade. But I'm just not like a color person. I prefer to just do like a bronze eye or a gold eye. Most of the times you catch me, that's what I'm wearing. Like a bronze or gold eye. I think it just, I don't know, I just feel safer. Because I think those are like safe colors. I really need to branch out some more and do more like bright colors. And I'm just going to blend out the edges with a clean blending brush. It's just, just um, I don't know where I got this brush from. And then like on the outer edge of this eye, I'm going to go in with, um, this is not a Marc Jacobs. This is his sequins. These are like hot shadows. These are stunning. And I have mine in Caparazzi. And I'm just going to put it like on the outer part of my eye. Let me just clean my mirror so I can see. And it's a beautiful shade. This is what it looks like. I've worn this on my channel already. It's so pretty. I'm just going to put some like right here. How pretty is that? And bring some into the crease as well. Here. And then I'm going to take that same um, brush I used to blend that out and I'm just going to get the edges up. And I'm also going to put some of that um, pink. Also going to put the pink shadow on my bottom lash. I'm like really going in with color today, which I never do. I'm just going to put some on the bottom. All right, so I'm back with lashes and liner on. I'm going to go ahead and set on my entire face today. Well, the parts that um, I have the highlighter and stuff because I notice I have to use... Um, sunscreen and I'm using it in the form of a spray and they said it's matte but it packs on a lot of oil so I, I have to powder because I have to go outside of the house today so I know once I step out and it's really sunny outside I'm gonna get hit with the sun and so I need a barrier and um so I'm going to put powder so that when I use that spray, when I leave later on, I'm not going to really look oily. And although my skin has been dry, when I spray my face with that, I find as like an hour or two later and I look my chin and my forehead, it's like just really oily. And um, I'm still going to dust some of my Laura Mercier glow powder on like I do every time I do my foundation. Forehead, around face, and I'm gonna go ahead and use powder contour. And I'm using my Benefit Hula in Toasted that I have been just enjoying. This is so good. I love the color. Since I got this, I haven't um, I haven't used anything else, and I've been using it with this brush as well. Because I just, I love the brush. It's so convenient that, you know, it sits in the package and it's like you don't have to, like, reach for uh, something else. And continuing on with the glow, I'm going in with blush from MAC. And this is in the shade Telling Glow. It's one of their, um, the extra dimension blushes. I'm just putting it a little over that pink on my cheek 
And before I put highlighter on, I'm gonna set my space and I'm using my Murphy setting spray to do that. I can barely see the hole. <laughs> And the only negative with this, I would say, is because it's such a continuous spray and such a fine mist, I go through it pretty quickly as compared to like other sprays that I've used. Okay, so time for highlighter. And I'm using this new Anastasia highlighter. This is like her glow powder. It's in the shade um, So Hollywood. I own the pressed version, well, the powder version, the pressed powder version. And I love that highlighter. Like, I was obsessed with that highlighter. I still love it, but I just don't reach for it a lot. I have too many damn highlighters. But I went into Sephora for something completely different. If you go into Sephora for something different, don't go around swatching stuff, especially when you know you have a problem. <laughs> and I swatched this, and I was like, oh, Lord. It was so pretty when I swatched it, because there were two other ones, a darker one and a pinkish-looking one. But to me, those were, like, very glittery. This one swatched like really smooth see that it's so beautiful like i really didn't need this but of course uh, i have a problem so here we are i have it and i've been using it a lot and i absolutely love it and now i look like a glazed donut <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with my lips and I'm gonna go in with my MAC chestnut lip liner and for lipstick I'm going in with MAC's topped with brandy I think this is such a beautiful shade and it goes with my theme I'm really pushing this color thing today I know And I like to just keep it in the center of my lips. Okay, so this is my finished look. You know, you have to fix the hair and stuff to <laughs> hold the look together. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video and my my version of my spring makeup and I'm definitely going to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>